Today, the EU unveils its plans to become the first carbon neutral continent by the middle of the century. Big ambitions. Let's get the details. Maria Tadeo joins us from Brussels. Maria, this is undoubtedly a huge ambitious plan calling uh, for this, what, 55? What does it actually entail? Yes, and Manus, look, this is a huge proposal that the European Commission is putting forward uh, today. Now, again, that fit for 55, the reference there is very clear, you know, is to cut down emissions by 55 percent come 2030. And to do that, they're going to essentially have to change uh, climate measures pretty much across every industry in the European Union. This package, which we know will entail 12 different pieces of legislation, will touch everything from aviation to transport, also energy uh, efficiency and, of course, taxation. Again, it's a huge huge package. Of course, this is just the beginning, man, as we should really stress that this is a proposal by the European Commission. Then after that, as you know, it gets very political. It will move forward to European leaders and the European Parliament. Usually, for something like this to be approved, it takes about two years. The problem here is that they have to do it much quicker because, man, 2030, it really is around the corner. Carbon pricing, of course, is really important here when it comes to taxing and, and, and pricing as well. I mean, looking at what European carbon prices are now. Dan Tillis put together a chart that shows 53 euros per ton, which is definitely on the higher end uh, for this. I mean, is polluting just going to become more and more expensive? Yes, uh, you know, Danny, that's a very good observation, and that amount is probably going to go up if uh, today we do see the commission, as we're expecting, to touch two key pillars of pricing. One, of course, will be uh, the European emissions trading system. This is already, as you said, the biggest one in the world, but they could include more industries on that list. This is, of course, companies that buy and sell credits to pollute. They could also change uh, the criteria to make it indeed more expensive and decentivize uh, the use of very polluting uh, uh, machinery and industry. And then, of course, the big surprise here could be the carbon tax. You know, there's been speculation about mm. this for weeks that so the European Union will introduce that levy to avoid that we stop polluting here but shift somewhere else. So those are definitely the two ones to watch, the ETS and the carbon tax.